I'm wearing red today in honor of the Ohio State Buckeyes who dispatched Syracuse. Although this video is not about today's games, this is our update as of Friday night. And congratulations to Jackie Miyasaki for leading the pool and winning $200 uh, as the leader after the round of 32. She won the tiebreaker with Kevin and Random Bracket. And Jackie is going to be receiving $200. Jackie's one of six or one of several people who got six of the Elite Eight correct, along with Justin Donald, uh, Evan Price, Joe Shoup, Brendan Oot, Jeff Gamboa, Daniel Rivera, and yes, everyone, my illustrious self with six of the Elite Eight correct. Justin Donald is in second place. He's been a perennial contender the last few years, never has won the pool, but it's always been a factor. Another fine showing, Justin with 68 points, trailing Jackie by four points. With 66 points, we have Jeff Bry and Evan Keller. However, they're out because Jeff Bry has Michigan State. Evan Keller has Marquette to win it all. We all know that they are no longer in the tournament. With 65 points, Joe Shoup and Evan Price are in there, but they both have Missouri, so they're out. Brandon Oot with 65 points, along with Rachel Schaefer and me. Yes, in solid contention, doing very well so far. Uh, with uh, Random Bracket, by the way, has descended from greatness uh, with just three of the Elite Eight correct. Also, these illustrious people picked three out of eight. Greg Sharonis, rotten performance with three out of eight. Now I know what the moniker GC for three stands for. By the way, my red hat is the Pimpleton State Pimps. Chris Naku with three out of eight. Jim McGowan, Jimmy Hunt, Kenny Coleman, Robert Gonzalez, Drew Frank, Buddy Boyd, Ken Schaefer, Trenton Switzer, Matt Washington, and last year's champion, Joe Gianosa, with a mediocre as expected showing this year. Three out of eight. Joe, you suck. With a putrid two for eight, Trevor Kelly, disgracing the TKO moniker. By the way, all members of Powder's division should be pissed off. That that's what that guy chose for his name on the site. J. Brad Britton with a putrid two for eight as well, who has Duke, Temple, and Michigan State in the final four. And Joe Duca as well with two out of eight. Thank you, Evan, for recruiting that fool to play. But you guys are beating people with one out of eight. Robert Katayama, one of the Elite Eight correct. He does have Baylor to win the championship, but he can't even make money. Even if Baylor wins it all, he will still fall short of the Elite Eight because his picks suck so bad up until now. Susan Potter with one out of eight, but she escaped the Potter Award when Kentucky beat Indiana because Logan Toski has clinched up the cellar with just 28 total points for the pool, and every remaining pick that he made has been eliminated. Logan is in last place and will finish in last place Congratulations, Logan. You win the Potter Award. You get to pay double next year. Be sure you're in. Gene Powell, make sure. All right. By now, uh, Saturday's games are over. Louisville defeated Florida. Nobody got that right. Ohio State took out Syracuse, which was huge for Rachel Schaefer as she has Syracuse. It was also big for Justin Donald and for me. And surprisingly, it was big for P.J. Potter, who is surprising our entire pool with a fine showing, P.J. will finish in second place if Kentucky defeats Ohio State in the championship game. And yes, P.J., that will be second behind myself. Congratulations. Ohio State, if they win, Rachel Schaefer looks like she's going to win the pool. If Kentucky wins over North Carolina or Kansas, Justin Donald looks really good to win the pool. Of course, if Kentucky wins over Ohio State, it'll be me. Uh, the highest person with North Carolina is Mike Dowd. He looks like he's in good shape at the Tar Heels advance. Um, the highest person with Kansas is Emily Nickel with only 55 points. Not sure if she'd uh, score enough points to win if Kansas wins it, but she'll have a chance. And the highest person with Baylor is Jimmy Hunt with only 53 points. So these guys are way far behind, but they have a chance to uh, recover if their teams advance all the way to the championship game. Uh, so Sunday we got a couple more games. We've got the uh, UNC-Kansas game. 
that should be a huge one. We've got the Kentucky Baylor game as well on Sunday. I'll be back at you guys Sunday night with a final four update with all the scenarios of who can win the pool based on what might happen with the final four. Look forward to some great games. Talk to you guys all soon.